All right, so uh, let's get into this video because I'm excited to tell you guys. You're probably excited to hear because of the title of this video. I'm going to show you all the cheapest reloading kit that you can get. Now, um, so getting into reloading, do you need to be smart? Well, all depends how you look at it. If you do dumb things, obviously you're going to hurt yourself. Is it dangerous? Can be. But it's also, if you take precautions, most likely you are never going to have an accident. But if you don't take precautions, you're definitely going to have an accident. So, um, yeah. So how can you get started with reloading on a budget? Okay, well, let's jump right into it. With this, a piece of paper. Yep. No. With this right here. So this is a Lee hand reloader. And what this kit comes with is the, so this right here is your powder scooper. So I figured out that a full powder scooper works for about what I like to do with my 160 grain bullets, but I'll show you that here in a minute. So it comes with a powder scooper. It comes with your primer extractor right there. That is your primer extractor. This right here, I like to call the ramrod. And it's black, I'm just saying. So that's it's your ramrod. Take that however you want it. Um alright. And this right here is your primer plunger so you put the primer in here and you stick that over top of it and you tap 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 a -roo until that primer goes in there but first you want to resize but let's get into that in a little bit later when I show you all how this kit actually works so so what I will be using today is Reloader 17 gunpowder it is a smokeless rifle powder and I really really like this this one's empty I just bought another one and I actually put it in this canister right here just because it's easier to scoop out of so these are the shells that we will be reloading today previously shot I've already taken the primer out of it but I do have one that I'm going to show you how to take the primer out of and we're just going to do one full round of putting the primer in and everything else. Another thing you're going to need with this kit is a rubber hammer. Do not use a steel hammer. I don't know how many times I have watched YouTube videos of them using a steel hammer or a claw hammer. Don't do that. I cringe when I watch that. Do not do that. Make sure it is a rubber hammer and you'll be fine. Do not strike anything with a metal hammer hammers that are metal put off spark so the next thing that we will be using is CCI 200 large rifle primers and this is my favorite the Sierra game changers let me make sure you all can see that yeah there's a little bit of a glare on it Sierra game changer green tip so I'll show you what one of those looks like real fast. If I can get it open here. All right. Right there is what that bad boy looks like. That is a beautiful bullet. So now, like I was saying in the beginning, can you make mistakes? Yes. I would suggest doing it without any gunpowder and using your primer and trying to set your bullet and just get a feel for it. So this one right here, I pretty much screwed up. I screwed up pretty bad. And uh, the way I did this is I didn't have this piece underneath of it, which this piece right here is your spacer. So when you're actually doing the bullet, this right here is for it to slide into. 
so it comes out of the resizing jacket up here. So yeah, you want to make sure you have that underneath of it because if you don't, you can pound and pound and pound and you'll end up with a nice looking bullet like that. Don't do that. I just keep that as a reminder up here. So don't do that. Now let me show you how to use this kit. All right guys, let's get started here. So hopefully you all can see this pretty well. Make sure, yeah, you all can see that. Okay, so what I'm going to start by doing is I am going to extract that primer out of the shell casing. So what you wanna do is you wanna get that stand that I was telling you about that I messed up, it did not have this underneath of it. What you want to do is you want to just get that stand, lay it out, put it on the mat here, put the bullet down in it, or the shell casing down in it, I'm sorry. Now what you want to do is you want to put your primer extractor down into the shell casing. Then just give it a little tap, tap, tap a until you feel it come out. Not hard enough. Sissy. Hold on, let me put that on my purse. Dinner's ready. Alright, so dinner's ready. So I'm going to make this quick, short, and sweet. So after you punch down, your primer will be extracted. Just like that right there. There's your old primer. Discard that. Now, what you're going to do is you're gonna take this big piece right here and you're gonna put the bullet into the opening and then you are going to give it some swift wax with your hammer until it is flush. So after it is flush in there, then you're going to take your primer plug, your primer ramming kit, or seating kit, however you want to call it, and you are going to put your primer in. Do not put anything else in before your primer is in. So you're going to take that, your flush mount resized casing, and you're going to put it right on top. Then you're going to take your big black ramrod and you're gonna put it right down in there like so if you have to force it it probably is not in there right then you tap until it sounds like you've hit bottom just like that after that you can see that the casing has slid out a little bit that is perfect your primer is seated and it is seated flush so then what you want to do is you want to take this black spacer again and that casing is going to sit right down in there just like that then let's go ahead and get our scooper out There's the Reloader 17 gunpowder. You are going to take a level scoop, just put it in, bring it up, tamp it down. That's the way I like to do it. And it is level to the top. Make sure you all can see still. All right. Then what you're going to want to do is you want to pour it straight down in that hole. Try not to spill any gunpowder, especially in today's time. It's pretty valuable. You can't find it. Make sure you give it a couple good little taps around on the table. Make sure all your gunpowder is seated. And now you're ready to rock and roll. That is a primed cartridge. Take your bullet. Take one out, put your bullet in, boat tail down, 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this, the primer tool, again, and this right here has a indention in it, which is not going to harm your bullet. You're going to put that in right over top of it. Give it a little push until you hear it go kunk. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit it with a hammer. Again, seat that bullet. Just like that. Now guess what, guys? You just made your own bullet right there so Lee hand reloader is the way to go if you were on a budget that is a good looking bullet right there so that's all I got guys Please like and subscribe if you like this video, if it helped you. Um, and let's grow in reloading together. And as we grow, I will get more reloading stuff and we will grow as a family. I appreciate the watch. If you like this video, if it educated you in any way, if you have any pointers for me, if you are a seasoned reloader, please feel free to leave a comment or like. Thanks again. See you in the next one.